Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, after we have seen how we can update dictionaries within Python, now we'll try to understand how we can add items, uh, dictionary items, add dictionary items. How do we do that? Yeah. So let me just, just format it a bit. Add dictionary items. Yes. So uh, when I'm talking about adding dictionary items in Python, it refers to inserting new key value pairs into an existing dictionary. Yeah. Now dictionaries are mutable data structure that store key value pairs. We know that adding items to a dictionary allows you to dynamically update and expanded contents as needed during the program execution. Yeah, so adding dictionary item, it will usually be adding new key, key value pairs to the dictionary. Yeah, now there are various ways in which you can uh, perform this. That is uh, using square brackets, which we have seen earlier. Uh, using the update method, then uh, using uh, comprehension, using unpacking, using uh, union operator, using uh, operator, uh, using uh, set, set default method. And lastly, which was, uh, which has never been used, uh, or probably this is hardly being used as the using collections dot default dict method yeah so we'll see one by one each of this uh, methods by which you can understand how we can add items there are a lot of options so i have i'm talking about seven eight items seven eight ways of doing it you can use any of them as for the efficiency on the code that you will like to play. So let's start with uh, using square records. Let me copy the formatting. square brackets. Now, as we know earlier, uh, we have checked it in the update uh, or access seeing the updating the dictionary items. We have uh, seen the video. So the squ square bracket in Python is used to access elements in sequences, like lists, strings, through indexing and slicing operation. Additionally, when working with dictionaries, square brackets are used to specify keys for accessing or modifying associated values. Yeah, You can add item to a dictionary by specifying the key within the square brackets and assigning it a value. If the key is already present, the dictionary object in the dictionary, it is get it will get updated. Yeah, If the key value is not present, then it will get added at the end. Yeah, So let's see example of square bracket method. So I have this, again, the example A1, B2, C3, I am using the square brackets by specifying the key. And key is such that it is not available in this existing dictionary. And I'm adding a value 4. So it will automatically get added. 
can see this yeah pretty clear i have taken this example multiple times you can check my previous uh, videos as well on how we can add so this is how you can add a particular value to a dictionary add a key value pair to a dictionary now if i try to modify an existing value so if i if if i am referring to a key which is already available it will update that key it will not add an ad additional item you can see this since a is already present it has modified its value from 1 to 4 it has not added a new key value pair altogether yeah so this is how you can use the square brackets method yeah we have multiple methods to cover so we'll take it up quickly so uh, using now we'll use the update method yeah As we know, update method in uh, Python then you used to merge the contents. You can add multiple items to a dictionary using update method by passing another dictionary or an iterable key value pair. Yeah, it adds or update a key, key value pair, ensuring that existing keys are updated with new keys, new values, and new keys are automatically added if they are not available within the dictionary. Yeah, let's see a quick example of uh, update method. We have seen this. So what I'm doing here is uh, I'm uh, using one key which is already available within my original dictionary. I'm adding a new key which is not available. So I'm doing both actions. I'm using a key which is available and a key which is not available. Let's see what happens with the update method. So it will update the existing key, which you can see here. Since A is already present, it has updated the value from one to four. Whereas D is not available, it is automatic. It has automatically added it at the end. Yeah. So it does the absurd operation where you can add as well as modify both. And you can pass on multiple elements within the dictionary. Yeah. Now the next method is what I want you all people to consider because I have not covered it earlier uh, for dictionaries. So let me first copy the formatting. So using unpacking. So what happens in unpacking in Python? Uh, it uh, extracts the individual elements from a collection. Uh, it could be list, it could be tuple, yeah, or a dictionary. And assign those to the variables in a single statement. This can be done using star operator for iterables like list and tuples and double star operator for dictionaries. We can add dictionary items using unpacking by combining two or more dictionaries with the double star unpacking operator. Yeah. So we'll see an example by which you will be able to understand using star and double star to unpack dictionary yeah so what we are doing is suppose i have this dictionary this is my original dictionary yeah and i have and another dictionary which is D4 and E5. Now what I'm doing is, I'm using my deck 
since i'm using a dictionary i'm i'm using it to unpack by my day so this is my original dictionary and this is my new dictionary which has to be unpacked and being added to my existing dictionary yeah so i am updating my existing dictionary with my original dictionary and the new dictionary which is here being packed which is automatically unpacked and added to the and see this so the new dictionary has automatically got added since we have used the double star symbol yeah so this is one way of uh, adding items to a dictionary through unpacking method yeah this is a useful method and it is more efficient as compared to other methods yeah so you can use it the next method that we can use okay before going into the next method let's do it using a tuple yeah suppose i have this tuple Suppose I have this tuple D comma four and E comma five. So let me put this as star single star and run this. Okay, there is some syntax mistake. New dict. Then see this. The updated dictionary. So it has got modified using the new dictionary. Yeah. Or you can use colon. It will give you an error. Let me put it within people again. Or list of pupils. Yeah. So it is getting added. You see this how it is getting modified. The dictionary is getting modified. Yeah. So this is the way in which you can add items within an existing dictionary. Yeah, this will help you towards unpacking an item. And it's a, is an efficient way of doing it. Yeah, let's move on to an another method, which is using union operator. Okay. Let me copy the formatting of this particular thing. Okay, using union operator. Yeah, we know what is union operator. This is the pipeline symbol is the union operator. Yeah. So a union operator in Python represented by a pipeline symbol. Yeah. Here we need to have two sets of dictionary. Now it can um, also be used with dictionaries in Python 3.9 and later to merge the contents of two dictionaries. Okay, 
we can add dictionary items using union operator by merging two dictionaries into a new dictionary altogether okay so so the union operator in python is basically used to create a new dictionary out of the existing dictionary let's see an example quickly to merge dictionaries yeah so i have this uh, a1 b2 c3 original dictionary which is i'm showing right now and i am using d4 d5 yeah and i am using the union operator to merge this dictionary so i am i'll just remove this unpacking symbol and i'll use the pipeline symbol to merge the dictionary yeah and then i'll print my updated dictionary or my new dictionary okay so i just specify here updated dict updated yeah so what i'm doing is i have this original dictionary i have created a new dictionary and i'm combining both of them using the pipe symbol which is the union operator let's see what is the output yeah we can see d and e have been automatically added to the dictionary we can also use uh, in place union operator so what is in place union operator in place union operator is equal to this is called in place union operator yeah now what this operator is used in python is an uh, it is mostly used to add dictionaries as well as sets now it updates the set or dictionary on the left hand side with elements from the set on the right hand side so here we cannot create a new variable and create both the added or merged dictionary into a new set but this particular method is used to update an existing dictionary with the new one okay we can add dictionary item using this operator uh, by updating an existing dictionary with the key value pairs of the new dictionary now what you need to remember here is is any overlapping keys the values from the right hand side dictionary will overwrite yeah so it is same as the update method where your uh, existing keys will get overwritten and new keys will automatically get added in place operator so i have this suppose i have this a as a key as four so this is existing and e is new this is not available in my new dictionary uh, or earlier dictionary yeah so as i said the overlapping keys yeah a and a both the dictionary a and a are overlapping hence the values will get overwritten from the right hand side so new dict values would be overwritten by the or my original dictionary and the new key which is not available will be added to the dictionary so let's see what is the output yeah you can see a has been modified and the new key which was not available in my previous dictionary has got added simple pretty simple to understand yeah yeah there are various ways we can use the update method as well it gives you the same output yeah the next method by which you can uh, add items to a dictionary is uh, using the set default method 
So let me copy the formatting once again. Something weird. This called method. Yeah. Now we know. The set default method in Python is used to uh, get the value of a specified key in a dictionary. Now, if the key does not exist, it inserts the key with a specified default value. We can add dictionary items using the set default method by specifying the default value as well. Yeah. So, uh, adding the dictionary items items using using set default method yeah so we have this dictionary which we are using since a long time now and we have the set default method d comma four. What I've done is I'm checking whether this key is available in this dictionary. If it is not, it will get added. Yeah. But it will take a default value. If I do not specify the default value, it will give none as the value of this key. Okay. There is something weird that is happening. Just give me one minute. Okay, if I do not specify the value, then it will keep the value as none. You see this? But if I specify the value in order to get things added, see, four. Yeah, this way it will add the value as well for the key. See this? So this is how you can add a value using the set default method. Yeah. So lastly, uh, the last method that we are going to see over here in adding values to or uh, or adding values within dictionary is uh, is using the collections default dict method yes now in the collection default diff method in python is a subclass of built in dict class now that creates dictionary with default values for keys that have not been set yet so it will create you can understand it as a default value of keys being created or a factory of defining default key values for a dictionary. Yeah. So it is part of a collection module in Python standard library. We can add dictionary items using collection.defaultdict method 
by specifying a default factory, which determines the default value for keys that have not been set yet. So when accessing a missing key for the first time, the default factory is called to create a default value. And this value is inserted into the dictionary. Yeah. So this is a very important function because we, as we know, uh, we cannot create. is wrong with my keyboard. Okay. So let's try and see an example. So let me show you an example. Uh, so for in order to example of before the method. recognizing my uh, keyboard. I don't know something weird is happening right now. Let me see whether it recognizes or change it to another USB keyboard. Cannot be continued to come malfunction and window does not recognize it. Okay. Let me first run this and then probably we can uh, So first, what we need to do is I need to get the library. Yeah. So I'm checking whether from collections, I'm importing default deck. Yeah. Then what I'm doing is I'm creating a dictionary default deck int. Then there is a dictionary that I have been created using a as one B as two, and I am saying print dict C. Yeah, let's see what is the output here. You can see here the output of my dictionary is zero. Since I do not have any key which is called as C, but at least it has, it is not showing me an error wherein my dictionary is automatically getting appended. Yeah. So what I can do here is I can use it in a different way. Suppose from, let me, I have already taken the default deck. Uh, I'll define it as D equals to default deck, which is an not list, I'll specify it as in. I'll say D dot A I will increment it by one. One, yeah, and I say print. No, no, uh, 
friend D. I just print the dictionary. So I'll remove this. Let's see what is output. I'll run this. And see this? It is showing me default class with an int and it has assigned the key value and it has given me a value which is one. Previously, we haven't given the value to C and it is by default, it is taken as zero. Yeah. Now let's try to give a default as default date as a list. Yeah. And for list, we'll use the append one command and we'll again print D. Yeah. Let's see what is the output. Can you see this? So it is giving me output in the form of a list. So it has the value one appended. We can also use uh, here what we have done is used we have default factory initialization to an int. Yeah. Here we have used default factory initialization to a list. Yes where we got the output as one, here the class is int, here class is list. Now we'll use a custom function as the default factory. Yeah, this is very important and you'll love this. So I have this default factory, yeah, and I am returning the value as default value, yeah. I am storing this entire function in a value called D and I am printing it as A. So it should give you a default value. Let me run this. Can you see this? So this is the way in which you can use default dict. I have not seen any one of my colleagues as well using it, but I, all pe I wanted your people to engage in it and try to understand what is the use of this particular function. Yeah. So it is specifically used when you want to assign a key with a value. Also, you want the default keys to be initiated from the default factory. Yeah. And add it to the dictionary. Okay. So this is one way of adding items to the dictionary. But as I said, there are various methods. You can use square brackets. You can use update method. You can use comprehension. Comprehension again, we'll cover it in our looping uh, video. Please go through it. Uh, because we have we have to see how we can add, update, or modify a particular dictionary using the loop method, which we'll cover in the looping of dictionary. Yeah, using unpacking, using union operator, using uh, in place union or set default or the collection default dictionary from the default factory. Yeah, so there are various methods you can use at, at your personal where and when in your operation, the use case could occur. Yeah, hope you like this video. Hope you like the example you under 
the major thing uh, that i would like to understand is whether you have understood the concept behind adding a particular item to a, a dictionary that's more important and the ways in which we can do this method separately i have covered it in my previous video uh, in more detail but over here i just wanted to show you how you can use various method to add uh, items to a particular dictionary yeah so hope you like this video do like share this video with your colleagues who want to learn python uh, do comment on this example or the content of the video which will help uh, other people also to learn uh, python and by sharing knowledge we learn together uh, do not forget to uh, subscribe to my channel uh, thank you so much